so hello everyone so in our last session we had uh, continuing we had uh, stopped with the problem of uh, mixed type right yeah so in this session we are going to solve two problems of mixed type so the question goes like this d square y by dx square minus 6 into dy by dx plus 25 is equal to e power 2x plus sin x plus x so here we can see that in r of x we have all the three types so this corresponds to type 1 right uh, this is a in the form of e power ax this is type 2 where this is also from sin ax and this x here is a variable which corresponds to a monomial that is a polynomial again this is again a polynomial right so we this corresponds to type 3 so here we need to solve this x by the division method right the type 3 problem which I have discussed okay yeah so here also we need to apply the rule here to find the complementary function the rule remains the same first replace all the d square by dx square dy by dx term so that is d square y minus 6 dy plus 25 so take uh, d square minus 6 d plus 25 common out so this would be e power 2x plus sin x plus x right so now again we need to put d is equal to m with the condition of auxiliary equation that is m square minus 6m plus 25 equal to 0 so now use the quadratic formula the value of b here is minus 6 so it would be minus into minus 6 so 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 the whole square is 36 minus 4 into 25 into 1 so 25 4 is 100 divided by 2 m is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 100 is minus 64 by 2 so m we get it as 6 plus or minus square root of 64 i square since we have minus by 2 so we get the 6 plus or minus square root of 64 is 8 and i square is i divided by 2 ok so here in the numerator we can take 2 common it will be 3 plus or minus 4 i by 2 so our required root is 3 plus or minus 4 i ok so here I am just taken in the numerator I have taken 2 common so that I can cancel the numerator uh, denominator 2 so now our uh, complementary function is c1 cos the value of beta is 4 c2 sin 4x e to the power alpha is 3 so this is your complementary function ok so now we need to find the particular integral so the r of x is e power 2x plus sin x plus x divided by f of d is d square minus 6d plus 25. So now we need to solve it for separate terms yp1, yp2 and yp3 and we need to add them. Okay. Yeah. So now we need to find the yp1. So here the value of uh, a is 2. We need to replace d by a since this is of the form type 1 right so in type 1 we need to replace b by a where a is equal to 2 so yp1 is e power 2x divided by 2 square minus 6 into 2 plus 25 where we get e power 2x as 2 square is 4 minus 6 into 2 12 plus 25 therefore our yp1 we get it as e power 2x divided by uh, 25 plus 4 29 29 minus 12 is 70. So this is your required yp1. So now solve similarly for yp2 that is the function is sin x divided by d square minus 6d plus 25. So here again the value of a is equal to 1. We need to replace d square by minus of a square. So minus of 1 square is equal to minus 1. So yp2 is sin x divided by minus 1 minus 6d 
plus 25 we get y p2 as sin x divided by minus 6 b 25 minus 1 is 24 plus 24 right so now we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by its conjugate minus 6 b so this would be minus 24 now so now multiply the terms that is minus 6 b sin x minus 24 sin x divided by this solve the form again a plus b a minus b so we can write it as minus 6 b whole square minus 24 square okay so yp2 is now minus 6 into the derivative of sin x is cos x minus 24 sin x divided by 6 d square that is 36 d square minus 24 square is equal to 576 okay yeah so now y p2 we can write it as minus 6 cos x divided by 36 d square minus 576 minus 24 sin x divided by 36 d square minus 576 okay so now again we need to replace b square by minus of a square with the value of a equal to 1 here minus of 1 square equal to minus 1 again so our y p2 would be looking like minus 6 cos 6 divided by my 36 into minus 1 minus 576 minus 24 sin x divided by 36 into minus 1 minus 576 so yp2 is the denominator we get the answer is minus so this would be 6 cos x divided by 36 1 the 36 minus 36 minus 576 that is 576 6 not 6 612 okay so again this would be minus there is already a minus so 24 sin x divided by 612 so can we simplify this further so we can simplify by 6 table itself right yeah so this is equal to 6 1 za 6 1 not 2 za okay yeah and this we can write 6 4 za 6 1 not 2 za so this is y p 2 we get it as cos x plus 4 sin x divided by 1 not 2 okay so in this way we have found y p 1 and y p 2 so finally we can write y p as y p 1 plus y p 2 that is e power 2 x by 17 plus cos x plus 4 sin x upon 1 not 2 so this is your required particular integral ok so now we need to oh sorry we have missed to write uh, yp3 right we have another yp3 term ok yeah so now we will find that yp3 so sorry I had one more term left yeah so that one more term is of the form of third type we will solve them now yeah, so now we need to find yp3 where we need to arrange some of the terms now since in the numerator actually in the numerator we need to write in the descending powers and in the denominator we need to write it in the descending powers of descending powers order so since in the numerator there only with only one term so we can write it as x only so this is of the ascending power so the first term we, we need to write it as 25 second term is minus 6b plus d square okay so now for this we need to apply the division where this uh, divisor we need to write as 25 minus 6b plus d square into x okay so now the first thing is we need to see uh, what answer we are first in 25 and x we need to consider if we multiply what we need to multiply to 25 so that we get the answer as x so if we multiply 25 into x by 25 we get the answer as x right 
Yeah. So first term here we need to write is x by 25 and write it as x here. Along with that, it's minus 6d into x by 25 in order to find our second term that is minus 6d into x by 25. So we get it as minus 6 into the derivative of x is 1 right. So minus 6 by 25 we get it as. So we will write minus 6 by 25. So we need to write it here okay minus 6 by 25 not in the quotient and d square into x by 25. So now we need to take d square of x by 25. So we need to take the derivative in, uh, derivation twice. So first derivative is x or derivative of x is 1. So 1 by 25 and the derivative of 1 by 25 is 0. So we get this term as 0 and not write it again. Okay. So now we need to change the signs whatever we got that is this is minus and this is plus. So we can cancel this first term. So right now it is plus 6 by 25. So now again 25 into uh, what would give you 6 by 25. Okay. So in these terms what we need to do is wherever there is 20 in this term wherever there is 25 right in the denominator if we have 25 along with the, so, so its number. So what we need to do is whatever we need to multiply right we need to take its square that is if we multiply 25 into 6 by 625 you will get the answer as 6 by 25 so let's check it how so 25 6 are 150 upon 625 so this is now 25 table let's take the 25 table 25 6 are 150 and 25 25 the 625 see we got it as 625 so in order to find the term left here what we need to do is whatever the number we have and the number we have along the denominator if those numbers are the same we need to write the answer as plus 6 by 625 that is we need to take the square of the denominator okay yeah so our terms are x by 25 plus 6 by 625 so we get as 6 by 25 so take its minus sign and our goal here is to make the remainder 0 right yeah so our required yp3 is whatever is there in the quotient that is x by 25 plus 6 by 625 okay either you can solve this again uh, by taking the LCM on both sides and simplify the term you can do that or you can keep it as it is okay yeah so now our final answer for particular integral we get is the first uh, y, yp1 is we got it as e power 2x by 17 plus yp2 is cos x plus 4 sin x upon 102 plus x by 25 plus 6 by 625 so this is your final particular integral okay so now for this the general solution can be written as y equal to yc plus yp where y the complementary function we got is c1 cos 4x plus c2 sin 4x into e power 3x right and the particular integral we got it here as e power 2x by 17 plus cos x plus 4 sin x upon 102 plus x by 25 plus 6 by 625 okay so we need to write all the terms very carefully we cannot skip even a single term see okay so this is your final general solution okay yeah so this was one problem we will solve one more problem in this session and we will wind up this session so this is your next question b square y by dx square plus 4y is equal to x square plus cos 2x plus e power minus x. So this is the type 3 where x square again we have a single poly a monomial term along with the cos 2x that is of the type 2 and e power minus x is type 1. Okay, so now we have been solved this 
without wasting any time. So here replace uh, d square by dx square and uh, the term as d square y plus 4y that is d square plus 4 into y is equal to x square plus cos 2x plus e power minus x. Okay. Yeah, so now we need to put d equal to m. So this would be m square plus 4 equal to 0. So for this we can solve this easily by bringing 4 to other side. So it would be minus 4. So m equal to plus or minus square root of minus 4. m equal to plus or minus square root of 4 i square. So we get plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 and i square is i. Okay, so this is again 0 plus or minus 2i. So we can write the complementary function as c1 cos of cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x into e to the power 0x. Right, that is equal to 1, right? So the answer we get it as c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x. So this is your complementary function. So now we will find the particular integral one by one. So now again it is split into three terms. So we can write directly y p1. The first term is x square divided by the f of d value is d square plus 4. Okay. So now here we need to rearrange the terms, right? So in the numerator the powers should be in the descending order means the highest power term should come first x square this is, since there is only one term and this it should be of the form of ascending our order so now we need to replace this and write it as 4 plus d square right so now make the division chart and write the here term as x square and here as 4 plus d square and consider the first term 4 and x square so what we need to multiply to 4 so that we get the answer as x square so we can multiply 4 into x square by 4 to get x square right if you multiply x square by 4 we get it as x square so write that term first x square by 4 and write x square so now d square of x square by 4 so we need to derive it take the derivative twice for x square by 4 so the first derivation is 2x by 4 and the second derivation is the derivation of uh, x is 2 along with that we have 4 so it, the derivation is 2 by 4 so here we get the answer as 2 by 4 and we, we can further write it as 2 ones are 2 twos are so we get it as 1 by 2 so right plus 1 by 2 okay so now here we need to change the signs here we cancel the first term out so this is now minus 1 by 2 so now here I have told you a trick of if you have the first term for, uh, first term and the denominator term as same we can write the quotient term as the numerator first as it is along with the we need to take the square of the denominator right so here what we need to do is the first term write it as it is minus 1 divided by multiply these two terms 4 2's are 8 right 4 2's are 8 so if we multiply 4 into minus 1 by 8 we get the answer as minus 1 by 2 okay so let's check it so 4 into minus 1 by 8 is minus 4 by 8 4 1s are 4 2 the. see we got the answer as minus 1 by 2 right okay yeah so we need to multiply minus 1 by 8 into 4 so that we get the answer as minus 1 by 2 so now again change the sign here in order to get the remainder as 0 so our final uh, particular integral y t1 is x square by 4 minus 1 by 8. Okay. If you want you can take the LCM and solve as well. Okay. So yeah, I will solve this to you. So take the LCM 8x square minus 4 divided by 4 is a 32. So here in the denominator we can take 4 common in the, sorry, in the numerator that is 4 into 2x square minus 1 right divided by 32 so 4 1s are 4 8s are so yeah this uh, final uh, after simplification we get 2x square minus 1 by 8 okay so this is your yt1 so now similarly find the yt2 the second term here is cos 2x 
divided by d square plus 4. Again, we need to replace here d square by minus of a square, where the value of a here is 2, right? Minus of 2 square is equal to minus 4, okay? Cos 2x divided by minus 4 plus 4, we get it as cos 2x by 0. So yeah, we got 0, so now we need to take the derivative of f of b, that is f dash of b, where f of b is given as b square plus 4, so this is 2d plus 0, right? Yeah, so now yp2 is equal to, since you have taken the derivative, we need to multiply x cos 2x, we need to multiply x, right? divided by 2d. So here we cannot replace d square, d square by minus a square since we don't have d square term only. So now here what we can do is y p2 is equal to we can take 1 by d common right. I have told you in one of the problems we can take that common x cos 2x up by 2. So now 1 by d corresponds to an integral right. So here take x by 2 common outside and integral the inside term left is cos 2x right. I told you right 1 by d means the inverse of differentiation is always an integration. So I have taken x by 2 common outside into integration of cos 2x. The integration of cos, cos is sine so it is x by 2 into sine 2x by 2. So yp2 we get it as x sin 2x by 2 to the 4. So this is your yp2. So now similarly find the value of yp3 where the term is e power minus x divided by d square plus 4 where the value of a here is minus 1. So yp3 equal to e power minus x divided by minus 1 square plus 4 that is yp3 equal to e power minus x divided by minus 1 square is plus 1, 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay. So our final yp we get it as yp1 plus yp2 plus yp3, right? So our yp is yp1, we got it as 2x square minus 1 by 8. And yp2 is x sine 2x by 4. And yp3 is e power minus x by 5. So this is your particular integral. So now we will write the final answer of this. Yeah, so the general solution can be written as y is equal to yc plus yp, right? So yc we got it as c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x, right? Plus the particular integral we got it as 2x square minus 1 by 8 plus x sin 2x by 4 plus e to the power minus x by 5. So this is your final general solution. So this completes the all the types of non-homogeneous equation problems. That is type 1, type 2, type 3 and the last type is mixed type where all the three types would be included in the R of x. Okay? Yeah. So yeah, th that's all for this session. In this session, we have solved two problems and all the important problems. Okay, whatever I have solved till now in the sessions are very very important. So we, you need to practice these problems. So in the exam, these not the the same questions, but the similar type of questions will be asked, where the terms would be interchanged somewhere. Okay, the questions would be similar. Yeah. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to so we have two more concepts remaining that I'm going to tell you in the next session. Okay. Yeah. So those are also very interesting concepts. Similar uh, concepts. There are some changes in the starting steps. Okay. In the st steps where we need to find the complementary function. Right. Till now we had all the steps similar. Right. 
for complementary function so in our next two concept we have few more steps addition additional steps to find the complementary functions okay and also the, you know to find the general solution last step also we have few more steps yeah, so that's all for this session we will continue with the next session thank you